Welcome back. It's been a hot, hot minute. That is just like the reality of my channel. <laughs> it's super, super consistent for like three months at a time and then like a six month break. So whenever I come back, there's like a hundred people who unsubscribe and I get it, I understand. It's just been a lot of movement in my life. We were in a sublet in New York City for a couple months and now we're finally in our place. So I have a permanent spot. This is our office space. So like you're sitting on my desk and that's my husband's desk. So you have to look at like the gamer setup. <laughs> um, but he's a very clean man. Look how like neat that is. But today we're gonna be talking about summer trends. I just look at random fashion magazines, Vogue, who, what, where, in style, teen Vogue, like just all of them and kind of compiled things I was seeing. So this video is kind of a mixture of things that I've seen through fashion magazines, things that I've seen in high fashion, things that I've seen in street fashion, like what's the everyday person wearing, and then also things I've seen on TikTok. I've got like a whole like TikTok section. I'm not even on TikTok. I'm Instagram reels girl, okay? I know it's like an unpopular opinion to some, but I, I don't really vibe with TikTok that much. It is like a huge contributor to the fashion space. I feel like that's where we really see like the nuance of trends is on TikTok. So I've prepared a little slideshow, a little PowerPoint, if you will, and I'm just gonna go through and talk about them. Just a little disclaimer, I've always felt a little awkward making fashion videos because I am not like super knowledgeable about high fashion or trends or like, I just love dressing up. Those are my qualifications. Maybe some of these trends are wrong. Maybe they're not like 100% right. Maybe I don't really know what I'm talking about, but it's just for fun. And it's just a fun little cutesy chat. Think of it like a girl chat. We're just like out to coffee talking about like shopping, you know, as girls do. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I want to talk about it anyway. So the first thing I have is like a couple of aesthetics that I've seen from TikTok, which is like the cores, the core aesthetics. So the first one I have is mermaid core. Mermaid core is obviously coming from the Little Mermaid release released a couple of days ago, last week. It's been a huge hit. I really want to go see it. I haven't yet. I've really loved the red carpet looks from the Little Mermaid premiere because they really leaned into that like mermaid aesthetic, mermaid core, glittery, scaly blues, cool shells. Like they really leaned in. I really love when stylists and celebrities really lean into like the theme of the movie. Like when Zendaya had that spider web dress from the Spider-Man premiere. Like I love stuff like that. I love when they go a little kitschy. They treat it like a costume party. Love that. So obviously we saw a lot of great looks there. So I've got a couple runway pictures. We're seeing like this very flowy, loose material, just like that majestic mermaid kind of vibe, very boho. I think we're gonna see the return of the fishtail braid big time. Also with talk of like 2010s fashion looping back around. I was in high school in the 2010s, like middle school and high school. I am no stranger to the fishtail braid, okay? In middle school and high school, my hair was literally like almost to my butt. And so I was the fishtail queen and my hair is very, very thick. So like that fishtail was crazy. <laughs> so I think we're definitely gonna see kind of the return of the fishtail braid, pulling it out, beach wave sprays. We're really gonna get that 2010s hair with this trend. And I'm not gonna lie, like not a lot of good things came out of the 2010s fashion wise. The hair was good. Like I personally loved the ombre. I mean, now it's definitely like a more refined ombre. Like our ombre's got a lot better. The ombres of the 2010s were so like brassy and orangey and yellow. I think that we're really gonna see like that ombre style come back, chunky braids. I think we're gonna see it in bridal uh, hairstyles as well. Like the braid that swoops back, tucked in, pulled out. I think it's gonna be less of putting flowers in the hair. That's kind of what's like the trend right now. And it's gonna be more of that intricate like detail with the actual hair. I love this picture that I found in the top left of that model with the pearls. I'm kind of giving like that Taylor Swift dress that she wore to that award show with the diamonds, but pearls. I just think pearls are so classic and timeless. Uh, if you pick up pearl pieces, it's not something that you're gonna regret. You're gonna wear those for a really long time. With this trend, the way I'm gonna incorporate it a little bit, it's just through pearls. I don't really love cool tone blues on me. I don't think I'm gonna be really wearing any of these styles. And I'm not like a huge fan of boho. I like it sometimes, like going to the beach because it's just easy. It's not really part of my core everyday styles. Not really for me, but I think it's cute and fun. Back to the hair, I think another thing we're gonna see too is a lot of like tutorials on TikTok that are very reminiscent of 2010s YouTube. Heatless curls, like how to braid your hair to sleep on it at night. I think everybody's gonna like share this like life hack and it's just gonna be them 
braiding their hair before they go to bed and then they're gonna take it out in the morning and be like look beachy cute like so easy so it's it's gonna be very 2010s like I'm feeling it this mermaid core feels so 2014 to me another thing that this is reminding me of like that model with the very bright hair in the middle with the blue dress it's kind of reminding me of Taylor Swift era's tour I'm a huge Swifty okay like huge Swifty so I actually have a couple talking points and I have her <laughs> in a couple of these pictures but it's reminding me of the dresses that she's been wearing on tour very boho and I think her fashion is also really influencing the summer fashion because everybody's trying to dress for the eras tour and I yeah I think her style is really influencing us right now that's mermaid core let's talk about the next one the next one I have is also movie related we're talking Barbie core which I love I was talking to a friend the other day about like color analysis theory you've seen those on TikTok it's this whole like theory about if you're an autumn a spring a winter and I guess I'm a classic winter because I have high contrast so I look really good in hot pink is basically what I'm trying to say I look hot in hot pink I look sexy in hot pink so I'm very excited for Barbie core because it's like right up my alley the Barbie movie is coming out in July I'm literally so excited I'm seeing Taylor Swift like the week before it comes out so this is gonna be like a July is gonna be a great month for me we got Taylor Swift we got Barbie movie I'm so excited I think this is gonna be kind of a mix of just like super super hyper feminine along with a kind of old money feel like Margot Robbie in the movie has been wearing a lot of gingham and then we see her at I don't know if this is a movie premiere or like the, the panel or something she's wearing that gingham two-piece I love that I love gingham I think it's a very timeless classy print like we've seen it throughout the years yeah I don't think that this is really that hard to accomplish uh, I also love that picture of Anne Hathaway I don't know where she was was this for fashion week like I said I'm not an expert but she was wearing that like amazing sparkly pink dress and she had like those crazy pink pumps I think for hair we're gonna see just that very classic kind of blowout style with the hot rollers like in the bottom left that girl with just the very voluminous blonde hair I think we're gonna see more highlights like I said kind of the ombre of the 2010s but like if you're blonde more platinum a really awesome side sweat bang just like really really poofy voluminous doll Barbie hair makeup I think is gonna be very similar to what we've already been seeing which is just kind of the transition to a more natural makeup more like effortless just kind of what I'm going on and I've like definitely switched up to um, I have videos on my channel where I'm literally like green winged eyeshadow to my temple like glitter fake lashes every day and now I'm much more like skin focused want to look dewy when I look cute just very natural and like a big emphasis on skincare and I think that is Barbie core to a T I've got a couple pictures in the right hand side of uh, Gigi Hadid and then another model where it's that pink blush and we're really bringing it up I've been seeing that on TikTok and reels but you'll see um, people have been really experimenting with blush and bringing it up almost to the forehead and into that temple so I think we're gonna see you know the hot pink blush the Dior blush that went viral just really really feminine soft makeup with a lot of pink I've also got Ariana Grande there I think the big slicked ponytail is definitely gonna come back this kind of trend is just those really really feminine hairstyles actually literally like that Barbie picture of her in the car that headband with the flip and this is gonna be like a very clean aesthetic and I, I like it I'm here for it I love this Barbie core trend because I think Barbie just like <laughs> represents just being nice I just like like the nice girl of it all just like the cute girl next door super feminine but strong that's the thing I think people are really gonna lean into I love just really embracing your femininity while also knowing that you're just like a badass strong female because I feel like sometimes if you're a girly girl you try to like suppress it a little bit to be taken seriously so yeah that's what Barbie stands for is just being like super girly super over the top but still like serious smart and strong so love a plus from me so the next one I have is coastal cowgirl and I when I was living in Hawaii I was I could see this trend before it was like a trend it was it really blossomed there because it's like a core kind of fashion group also like there are a lot of line dancing bars in Hawaii people love country music people love to dance there's a girl that I used to work with that I follow on Instagram and she started like a new dancing Instagram where she like does country dances and she's so cute she literally dresses exactly like this like the coastal cowgirl to a T wow I literally put a picture of an ombre in here I am really like rooting for the 2010s ombre but again this kind of ties back into the mermaid vibes the same kind of hair just the beach waves just effortless really easy mermaid core we're gonna see more long hair with layers just to really get that like volume you know it doesn't weigh it down but coastal cowgirl is kind of like she has long hair because she like cannot be bothered to go get it cut you know what I mean like no layers just like one blunt it's like maybe not even dyed it's just from the sun it's like gotten golden as it grows out 
that's the vibe. Uh, a lot of white linen, knits, crochet, obviously the cowboy boots, specifically white cowboy boots. The cowboy hat, but not that big dumb hat that SNL skit kills me. The big, what are they called? The big dumb hat or dumb big hat, whatever. Not that, that again was very 2010s. We're kind of like refining it a little bit and going more for that like woven, that like woven basket weave kind of hat. And I've been seeing that a lot of them have like the shell details on it or that you could even like tuck little flowers in it. It's gonna have a detail around the brim and it's definitely gonna be more like a sun hat mixed with a cowboy hat. It's not like a true traditional cowboy hat. Jean jackets, just like very kind of easy fashion. I didn't put this on my little mood board, but I think we're also gonna see a lot of like turquoise jewelry. You know those people who just wake up and like they don't really do a lot and they look just amazing and cute and then Angelic. That's like the coastal cowgirl. She's like, I just woke up like this and I'm just gonna go down to the beach and, you know, ride my horse. I know country things, right? But she's just effortless and cute. I've got one picture of the makeup in the bottom right. So I screen grabbed this model where she's got kind of like that peachy blush. Um, like the, the Tower 28 blush is gonna be perfect for, oh, <laughs> the boards are slanted, so I'm spinning. It's gonna be like that really peachy kind of sunburnt makeup. I'm seeing a lot of makeup tutorials on how to look sunburned, which I think is cute. Like I love the look of a sunburn. Obviously I'm sunscreen queen, like I'm very pale. So love to fake it when we can. I've been seeing kind of a shift away from more contour bronzy to more blush, like using the blush as a contour and using it as a sunburn. So we're moving towards sunburn makeup instead of the more like bronze makeup. This aesthetic doesn't really like speak to me personally, but I love it. I think it's cute. I also think it's kind of timeless a little bit. If that's your vibe, I wouldn't necessarily like it. I did this, if I dreaded this trend or this aesthetic, it wouldn't be timeless to me because I don't feel, like I said, I don't really feel comfortable in those more boho-y kind of coastal looks. If I invested in like cowboy boots, just kind of woven knits, whatever, it wouldn't be timeless for me and I would end up donating it pretty quickly. But for somebody who's already kind of living that lifestyle, like that girl I talked about, like for her, this is like so timeless, so effortless and they'll have those pieces for a lot longer. That is something to be like aware of. Okay, am I, do I like like this? because it's trending or do I like this because, oh my God, I finally have something to call. Like what I've been, like what I've already been living like, you know? Did that make sense? Hopefully. The next one is sheer. I've been seeing sheer fabric a lot. I had to put little hearts over their nipples because I had to censor it for YouTube. So that's why there's little, little hearts. <laughs> Just saying, I don't care, YouTube cares, okay? I'm not a nipple hater, free them. This trend feels more fall to me personally. I just, I can't imagine wearing like a polyester sheer shirt in the summer, barf. Like I would be so hot. So I don't really think this is like super practical. I don't know, like, because all of this sheer stuff is plastic base. It's all like polyester, I'm assuming. Like, yeah, duh, it has to be. I think uh, a better way to use this trend for the summer would be to be like more sheer linen. Like linen is so breathable and a lot of linen sometimes is see-through. So I think like a see-through button up linen would be a lot more actually wearable. I don't know, like am I crazy or like would you be hot? Like I know it's sheer, but it's just like, it's so not breathable. And yeah, I feel like that black sheer we always see in the ball time, like with a little black bra, a little blazer, a little moto jacket. It's feeling very fall. It's not feeling very summer to me. So I'm not like a huge fan of this one. Um, I put Taylor Swift on there again. These aren't really sheer, but I get, like a little bit, they're like sheer flowy. And yeah, like I said, I think we're really being like inspired by her fashion because look at this thing. It's like just a whimsical dream. Also with Barbie core too, because of the lover era, I forgot to mention that. Lover era is so Barbie core. So Barbie core, coastal cowgirl, and like the sheer trend are all really like Taylor Swift, like reminiscence of the era's tour. So her tour is like defining the summer. You know how people talk about 2016 being like the best summer ever? We're gonna talk about 2023 as being the best summer ever purely because of the era's tour. Anyway, sheer, yeah, not really for me, but a lot of people said sheer. I don't really get it. This next one is just colors. Uh, these were the two kind of defining colors of the summer. So we've got fiery red and digital purple. That's what they called it, digital purple. I thought that was so silly. So the fiery red is obviously more my color. It's just very Parisian. It's just that summer color. Got a lot of like Parisian bloggers on here. And of course, Emily in Paris. Red is just so classic. I love wearing red. Again, Taylor Swift, we're, we're seeing it right here. Yeah. Digital purple, that's so goofy, just say lavender. But digital purple, <laughs> I've been seeing a lot, like I work at And Other Stories and we have a whole section of this kind of purpley color, so it's definitely, and we have a whole section of red, so they're right on the money with this. That's really all I have to say about that. I stamp of approval for me, I love it. And I think you're either a red girl or a purple girl, I don't think you're both. 
So pick your fighter, let me know which one you are. So the next is 80s inspired chunky jewelry and I'm a huge fan of this. This feels so creative to me and this feels so inspiring and also this one is so easy to thrift. This is like such a great trend that you can try for like literally 50 cents. That picture of Bella Hadid in the bottom right. I'm sorry about how many times have you seen those same exact friggin' earrings at the thrift store. Every time I go, those are like a dollar. <laughs> like I've never not seen those thrifting. I love statement jewelry. I think it's like a very easy way to just kind of elevate like a boring look or like simple, simple. That's a better way to put it, a simple look. You could, like this is simple. <laughs> if I put some chonkers on, some chonky jewelry, this would be like so much better. Definitely don't buy any of these new. I know we're gonna see like Forever 21, H&M, and Shein put out this kind of stuff for the same price point that you could get at thrift stores. So please, for the love of God, <laughs> go thrift this trend. You could even like go and just get beads at the thrift store, make your own, like really get experimental with it. The next one I didn't really see on any trend lists. I'm putting it in here because at work we've been getting in a lot of these huge sunglasses. So big sunglasses is my trend prediction for the summer, the 2010s. Like I would literally go to the mall with my friends and get these like huge sunglasses. I think I still have them at my parents' house. They were like ridiculous. Also feel like you could thrift them. Like I said, that was the absolute staple of the 2010s. So I don't think you'll have a hard time finding them. We see a couple like newer trends like those blue glasses in the middle those inflated ones I've been seeing everywhere and then also the bottom right that like alien silhouette obviously not really for me I'm more of a classic girly, but they're fun. I think we're gonna have a moment with big sunglasses The next one is underwear as outerwear if you've watched any trend videos They all mention this and this is just silly to me silly goofy mood silly goofy goose <laughs> This is one of those things where I really try to approach fashion from is it the runway are they a celebrity? or is this like the day-to-day -day? and there's there's a lot of different categories of the everyday person like in New York City definitely gonna see people wearing this right not normal people like me I'm not gonna wear this it's like the influencers that kind of type like the people who are like entrenched into the fashion scene they're really taking pictures street style like they want to be photographed stuff like that then you have like the everyday person which is what I would consider myself we're not gonna wear that. Then there's also like a section of people where you drop me back in my hometown, small town Wisconsin, less than 2,000 people. If I walked around with my underwear as outerwear, someone would purposely hit me with their car, okay? Like that would just not fly. <laughs> no one's doing this. I could see this trend to kind of be recreated in a small town vibe as like a swimming suit bottom, but I don't think we're gonna see, you know, like that tidy whitey boxer short that we got the Jenners rocking. Only in cities, only in big cities, or only in like fashion videos where you're like in your house and you're like, and then you take it off, you like don't actually go to the grocery store. You're just like putting it together for the artistry of it. Like I think it's fun, but I just don't see this being, this doesn't have the longevity, right? I don't think that underwear is outerwear is really gonna like stand the test of time or even be seen on more than just these fashion magazines. Like I just, it doesn't make sense to me. The tube top, I didn't see this surprisingly on trend boards, but let me tell you, it is tube top summer once again. It is 2010 summer. I literally didn't even think about 2010s when I was making these these um, little mood boards. But now that I'm realizing, like literally almost everything I've talked about has been rooted back to the 2010s. We are like entrenched. It is war zone, baby. We are we are hitting the front lines. It's tube top summer. We've seen this everywhere, and this is something that the average person is gonna wear. I've seen these at Old Navy, at Gap, like very like mall stores, suburban mall stores. If it's in a suburban mall, then it's like actually trending for the average American. I love it. I think it's cute. Like tube tops, like tube top is a clap, like a classic fit. I fall into two camps with this where I love it and I also hate it. I'm not a huge fan of like the cheapy ones. Like on the left, I have some kind of like just those cheap, like literally forever 21, like 10 bucks. Like it's just a piece of fabric. I love like the more elevated. I even love like this denim. I don't know if that's a skirt and a tube top or if it's a dress, that like blonde girl, but I love the denim. I love the one um, in the far right and the bottom that kind of crisscross that like more elevated look. Yeah, tube tops have really been here forever. Like they're such a great going out top like I feel like I see you know girls with little feather tube tops ruffles bedazzled I feel like I've seen those always but I guess we're just gonna see them a lot more for summer linen suits are gonna have a moment I didn't really see these on any magazines but last year I also talked about suits but it was bold colors last year was all about the bold colors the neons the hot hot pink the hot hot orange literally the brightest color that you could find that was it last year with the matching suits and now linen suit summer linen suits 
you're gonna have a moment. I really love this one from Another Story is this green. We're definitely seeing like a more muted. We've got the green. We've got the type right, which is more of like, um, it's not a suit. It's just kind of a matching set. It almost looks like pajamas, but I've seen people wearing pajamas as like everyday wear and I kind of love it. The bottom right, the waistcoat. We saw the waistcoat last year. Is that what it's actually called or is it a vest? Because I don't know. Is it a waistcoat? Is it a vest? I don't know. Which one is it? That like matchy, matchy and the linen. It, it's just so comfortable. Linen is so comfortable. I'm such a ride or die bitch for linen. You will absolutely not catch me in a polyester dress or skirt or top. Linen or cotton, that's the only way to go. I really love this. Very classic, very timeless. I love it. That's really all I have to say is I, I'm a fan. I love it. It's so cute. It also is just like so versatile. Like this green one, you could wear this to a wedding. You could wear this to work. You could wear this to the park. You could like throw on trainers. It could be going to run errands, throw on some heels. It's fancy. It's so versatile. These suits would pair great with that chunky 80s jewelry. I'm about it. Really, really love. And then the last one is a controversial statement, which is I love wedges. And wedges are trending, baby. I haven't owned a pair of wedges in a really long time, but that's because I think I haven't been able to like find them in the wild, in, in the stores. And I just realized that literally all the pictures I put on here are espadrilles because that is my new hyper fixation. I really want a pair of espadrilles so freaking bad. But I'm waiting a little bit because a couple years ago, I would like, I thought espadrilles were so ugly. And, but, but I don't like the like, the flat ones, like the toms, gross. <laughs> I, so I don't like the flat, like like ballet, you know, slipper kind of form from an espadrille. I absolutely love the wedges. They're very cute. They're really contributing to my obsession with Parisian fashion, French girl summer fashion. Uh, I think espadrilles, espadrilles, they're Spanish, but they've definitely been adopted by like French fashion. They're also so much easier to walk in. I've seen a lot of people like talk about wedges in their trend videos being like, nah, wedges suck, they're so ugly. And I'm like, yeah, so ugly, they're so ugly. I love them. I love wedges. I love a good wedge, very classic. Last summer we had those like just outrageous pumps, which are cute, right? Like those are so fun. Like think Ashley Park in Emily in Paris, like they were wearing those just crazy shoes. And that definitely, Emily in Paris last year, I feel like was like definitely influencing the summer fashion. You cannot walk in those though. Like the average person is not like walking around in those for their day to day. I mean, maybe, and that's great if you do, but I'm assuming the everyday person is not wearing those. They're just not comfy. Like wedges are so much more comfortable and stable. You have a lot less likely chance of hurting yourself in a pair of wedges than a pair of like 10 inch pumps. So I'm pro wedge, I'm here for the wedge. So those are all the things I wanted to talk about. That is just my little presentation on some trends I've been seeing for summer. Super excited for summer fashion. I feel like summer fashion is the hardest. So it's definitely cool to see so many things and be inspired. I'm excited for summer fashion. I'm excited to see what kind of outfits I put together. Let me know what your favorite trend is for summer. Let me know if there's something I missed because I there was a lot I didn't cover just because I wasn't like as inspired by it or like didn't really have much to say. Like some of those things I'm not really gonna incorporate in my wardrobe, but I had like thoughts and opinions. But yeah, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.